has proposed. So joining me tonight is Congressman Luke Messer, Republican of Indiana, who is chairman of the House Republican Policy Committee. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Don, I'm doing great. Great to be on. Um, President Obama, is President Obama coming after guns? Because that's what many Republicans are saying. Do you believe that personally? Well, you know, as I listened to the president tonight, I couldn't help but think of his campaign of just seven years ago, where the president spoke in really moderate tones. But if you listen to the essence of what he was saying, he said he wanted to fundamentally change America. And I think tonight, you heard a very similar presentation. The president gave a, put on a good show. He talked in very moderate tones. But if you get to the essence of what he's saying, he wants to fundamentally change gun ownership and Second Amendment rights. How is in that this fundamentally country? changing gun ownership? By, because the Second Amendment is not unlimited. And, and even conservative members of the Supreme Court have said that, yeah. that it is not unlimited by having people who should, don't have the mental capacity to carry or own a gun not have one. How is that fundamentally changing America? Well, listen, I mean, when the president talked about mental health uh, reform or when he talked about uh, background checks or enforcing the current law, those are all things that there's really an opportunity for consensus. But when you get past those conversations and he really and he talks about his anecdotes of the problems with guns in America, all of those would be solved by limiting gun ownership. Now, the president made a lot of promises tonight. But, you know, as you know, Don, this is a president on his health care law promised that if you liked your doctor, you could keep him. On, he said if you liked your insurance but Congressman, policy, you could isn't keep that, is, and With those, all due respect, but isn't that the exact opposite? Because the president, instead of taking something away, he was trying to give every single American health care. He's not taking, he's not saying, hey, listen, I'm going to take your health care away, and therefore you can't get it. He's in, giving in, people health care. But I see you still Syria, didn't understand. No, no, but listen. You didn't, let me, let me, Don, let me finish my, question, my comment. But no, you didn't, did. let, me, let me get the question Don, in. Me, I will let you finish. No, let me but finish my comment. But you did not comment, answer question, my question when I yeah. asked you, how is that fundamentally changing America I by you, not allowing people who shouldn't, who don't have the mental capacity to carry a gun not to do it? How is that I told you precisely. The, t the president talked about two or three different things, mental health reform, uh, background checks, enforcement of the laws that wouldn't change America. But when you get past that to his agenda, and as you and I both know, he has proposed gun control laws, it's, uh, it's a, it would be a fundamental change. And the point I was making that you interrupted, Don, is that this is a president that has made promises before that he's broken. He drew a red line in Syria and didn't keep it. So you've got to uh, give the American people a little bit of slack when they question whether this president will keep his promises. Okay, so you saw how irritated the president got to the idea that this is part of a conspiracy to take away guns. So for the record, are you saying that you don't believe him, that he is lying to the public? You know, it was a classic President Obama argument. He put up with Anderson Cooper, a, a straw man argument that somebody was saying he was going to confiscate all guns in America. I don't believe the president's trying to confiscate all guns in America, but the president is trying to limit access to guns. And the fundamental disagreement here is that Criminals don't care about uh, gun control legislation. Those who will murder will murder, irregardless of gun control legislation. Gun control is only proven effective in keeping guns from law-abiding citizens. That's why the millions of Americans who are law-abiding citizens and own guns are concerned about efforts to limit them. Okay, so all right, there's a lot to unpack there, but I'll just, uh, for the sake of time, is there common ground between you and the president? Is there something that you could agree on that would limit gun violence uh, that won't strengthen, you think, or threaten, excuse me, the Second Amendment? Yeah, I mean, I think there's some real opportunity in looking at mental health reform. There could be bipartisan support there and enforcing uh, current uh, laws. There could be a lot of opportunity for bipartisan support there. I think the, the president makes those things difficult when he leads with rhetoric that talks about uh, gun bans and gun control. Listen, we're all heartbroken by the tragedies in this country, uh, uh, gun, gun tragedies in this country, and we can do more. I think there's an opportunity for common ground. but but. The, the common ground isn't in, um, in gun control. And the reason for that is not some boogeyman of a gun lobby. It's, it's the tens of millions of Americans who are concerned and, and fearful of their government limiting their ability to have access to guns. Congressman, thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us tonight.